What's up guys, this is Sim with Vengeance and I am back here with another NCAA Football 14 UAB Blazers Dynasty. And today, the number 21 UAB Blazers, who are 5-1 on the year, are at home for a Conference USA matchup taking on the North Texas Mean Green, who are 4-2. Pretty good team on our hands today. This could be a pretty good game. We'll see how it plays out. You know, obviously Conference USA games are taking a little bit more tough uh because, you know, conference games are, you know, bitter rivals and all that good stuff. But if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you guys drop a like. And if you're new to the channel at all, hit that subscribe button down below. And before we get into any further things, you know, we're we're 21 in the nation. We After that loss to Virginia Tech, we didn't take too big of a hit. Um, I, I didn't think we were gonna because, you know, we just... We only lost by what a point? We lost 23 to 24. That's honestly not that big of a deal it, it could have gone either way we had a chance to win the game and my kicker just just <laughs> botched the kick he did a Blair Walsh so we're gonna get into some recruiting here you see we're in the lead for some of these pretty key guys right here uh, you know we got the number 71 corner we got some obviously the guys that you know that that top tier quarterback that top 10 D end uh, we're not going to focus too much on recruiting this week because we are trying to uh, take those big guys home, you know, those guys who are 80 overall and uh, sitting there, you know, interested in UAB. So you take a look at the top 25, Ohio State, Miami, Georgia Tech, Utah, Texas, Connecticut, UCLA, Iowa, Texas A&M, and Virginia Tech round out the top 10. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a, there's a lot of teams that have a lot of first place votes. You don't know who just could possibly... Uh, go to the national championship. This, there's a lot of teams up there that are still undefeated, and honestly, it, it could go either way. So we ha we do have teams up there like Kentucky up there as well, who are four or five and one. We are down to f uh, 21, as obviously stated earlier. Tennessee's up there at 22, and uh, Virginia 23, Florida 24, Oklahoma 25. So a lot of unknown teams in the top 25 for college football. I usually don't see teams like that. In the top 25 teams like Kentucky UAB hell even Tennessee lately you now Tennessee was back in pretty good back in the day but I mean they haven't really been much of a team since you know they've had their years where they've kind of just really struggled so we're taking a look at the conference standings here we're still top of the conference standings uh, in the conference USA East as long as we win the East we can go to the conference championship game um, but I don't think we're going to be worried too much about that because we don't really have much to uh, much competition in our side of the conference. See, uh, Conference USA West has a lot of competition. Uh, you got teams like North Texas, Rice, Southern Miss, who are our rivals. Uh, Louisiana Tech has always given us headaches. Uh, UTEP's also pretty decent. So you just never know with how these things are going to play out. Uh, right now we're looking to go six and one, become bowl eligible, and see ourselves and possibly a BCS bowl because we we could possibly you know finish out 10 and 2 that'd be pretty nice 10 win season also nice but we're gonna get on with this game here against the North Texas Mean Green should be a good one and we hope to see you there with us in the studio I'm Reese Davis bringing you the EA Sports NCAA football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan innovation that excites both of these teams among the best passing offenses in the country, both ranked nationally in the passing game. There are weapons all over the field. But if anything, the secondaries ought to be used to it. I mean, they see a lot of this every day in practice. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. here at UAB Stadium as the number 21 UAB Blazers are at home in the rain this time taking on North Texas Mean Green. Mean Green have also been pretty good in the past against us. Uh, we've had, you know, we're, I think we're 2-0 against them, but both games have been, you know, semi-close. 
So here is Keith Brown from the, uh, you know, in, just a few yards out of the end zone, but he does take it out to the 25. Here comes Chris Jones, our star quarterback. 21 of 30 last game, 231 yards. Had a really good game. Let's see how he does this game against North Texas. They have a pretty fast defense, which actually kind of scares me. Their defense overall is like a 68, but they have a lot of speed on that defense, which could cause us problems. So we're here on third and five here. Jones dropping back. Step up. He escapes the pressure. And can he get the first down? No. He can't escape the pressure fully, and he gets sacked. So here comes North Texas here on their first possession. Second down and five. Hand, oh, read option this time, and they're going to do a little pitch, a read option pitch. That's just that's just a headache within itself. Billy Bean gets about eight yards on the first down from Mean Green. So we got to stop this crazy attack that North Texas throws at us. And it's going to be really hard because, you know, they they could do just about anything on their offense. they got a really high-powered offense. But as long as we get pressure on Frank Brooks, I don't see it, how there could be many problems. We just got to put pressure on the quarterback, and we'll be solid. Jones drops him back, scrambling to his right, and he's going to take it himself. Gets the first down, gets out of bounds, smart play. Picks up 11 yards in a first. So we got to establish the run, obviously. We got to establish the run. But we also have to keep our passing game in check, too. You see over the middle to Jim McTaggart. That's a little slant route, and it goes for a touchdown. 27 yards out, and it's now 7-0 UAB as Jim McTaggart just got himself a touchdown. That's on, on a little dinky slant route, too. That's pretty uh, nifty right there. So he, he Brooks over to the right side. It's caught. First down pickup of 33 for Corey White later on in the drive. They're moving the ball pretty fast now. Here's Brooks dropping back, looking for that screen pass. And he does get it off. And he is, Chambers escapes the uh, tackle right there. But he does pick up 22 yards on that one. So another first down here for North Texas. Again, second and nine. Brooks dropping back. They're moving fast. Off to Butler. First down again for the North Texas Mean Green. They're moving the ball pretty fast, so they're trying to keep this up-tempo offense going. Brooks, hand off to Chambers, and he's got a free trip to the end zone. Touchdown, Mean Green. It's now 7-all. So here we go again. You know, North Texas giving us fits. Again, well, a lot of teams have been giving us fits this year. But uh, we've been able to pull three on a lot of these. So Keith Brown picking up six yards on that one, picking up that first down. He's averaging four yards a carry. Pretty solid, right? Right? So third down and three again. Here's Jones dropping back, looking underneath the Donald Hills, but he runs the other way. And he stops short of the first. On, you know, and that's just my fault. And psh, what can you do, right? You know, but here's Brooks again. Drop back, stepping up, and he gets taken down for the sack. The defensive line has been amazing this year. We're getting pressure on the quarterback and just powering through the, their offensive line. We've been sacking a lot of QBs this year, and you know this year is just no different. So Jones taking this one off. Can't get the pass off completely, and he ends up taking an incomplete pass on that one. So it's fourth down and 15. We're going to give the ball back to North Texas. This game has been very low scoring. You're usually used to seeing – you know, high 20s here in the first half by both teams, but it's only 7 7. And uh, I guess that's good on our defense, but not so good for our offense because, man, I, 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 I'm I lost for words on how they're stopping our passing game. They're getting pressure on me, and I'm just sitting there taking hits, trying to run for my life, you know, trying not to, trying not to die, basically. <laughs> so they get another completion right there for the pickup to 28 yards. Now, with a minute and four seconds left here on third and six, can we get pressure on the quarterback and I don't know about kicking him out of field goal range per se, but if we could at least back them up just a little bit, that'd be great. But they do throw the incomplete pass right there, so I guess that's a good constellation prize. So they're going to end up settling for a long field goal attempt here from about 40 yards out. And we're going to see if the kick is up, and it is good. Yeah, just barely. But it's 10 7 North Texas. So we got 43 seconds left here in the first. Jones, quick strike over. Oh, it's incomplete. So they're going to have to punt the football again. UAB is struggling. Chris Jones is struggling. 4 of 11 for 41 yards. Just having a pretty bad day at the office. You know what I mean? But we're going to they're gonna run the ball here on third and 10. And they're going to be short of the first down. We're going to call a timeout because we still think we have a shot to at least tie the game at halftime. Because they start with the ball in the second half. And we don't want to be trailing when that happens, do we? So we get a quick strike off to Donald Hills. 21-yard pickup. 10 seconds left. We call a timeout. I learned my lesson from last week. Time on, time's on of the essence. We need to call timeouts. Jones again, drop back deep over the middle again to Donald Hills. 
and he takes it down to the 15 yard line. We call another timeout and we're gonna settle for the field goal attempt here. The kick is up and it's good. So it's now 10 all going into halftime. So at least we got something out of that, right? Uh, hey, it's, it's a tie game. Anything can happen in the second half. We just gotta play our best. We gotta keep doing what we've been doing all year long and everything will be all hunky dory. So Zach Chambers picking, taking this one past midfield, picking up 26 on that one. My God, he just shoved our defender down to the ground and said, nope. And uh, we get, you know, we're getting backed up right now. Hand off to Chambers again. He's taking it past the 20. And he's picking up 18 yards on that one. So, man, we cannot do anything right now. Second down and 12 here for uh, North Texas. Brooks dropping back. Looking over the left, right side. It's caught by Royal. 13-yard pickup. Another first down for the Mean Green. What are we doing? I don't know, man. I don't know. The defense is looking pretty bad out here. They're inside the five now, down at the one. And let's see if they can punch it in. No, they cannot. <laughs> nice stop right there by uh, the linebackers. And we got a good push up front. Bryant makes a nice stop. And they're going to settle for pretty much what it looks like to be an extra point. So it's now 13 to 10. And it's North Texas is taking the lead once again. Could they upset UAB? Well, I'm trying not to let that happen because I don't want to drop out of the top 25. You know what I mean? That we just got here and we kind of want to stay and stay for the party, you know. The top, let's see, see. I feel like the top 25 is like a party. We just got invited to go, and if we don't, if we get kicked out, I mean, bro, I mean, it's not cool. It's not cool at all. Especially for how hard we worked just to get into this party, we're staying. So, Chat Holt right here, picking up 11 yards in that first down. So, we got the ball moving. We got a nice high powered offense going on the field again. I feel like the second half is a whole new beginning for this defense and offense. We just got to execute. So, first and 10 again. Jones trying to drop back, looking underneath, gets it off to Devin Lemon, and he makes the freshest lemonade on the block, getting that one for 11 yards in a first. So, again, we got to make these short little passes. You know, short little dinky passes that just seem to work. It, 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 work, it works in Madden, and it works in NCAA as well. I just... I feel pretty good about it, you know, these small passes just like that to Brian Green. And now we're inside the five-yard line, and now we're going to probably punch it in for a touchdown right here since we're just so close, you know. We, we're, it would be a failure if we didn't punch it in. So Chris Jones taking this one himself. Touchdown Blazers. And now we got a 17-13 lead. Just under a minute to go here in the third. And now we're getting closer to the fourth. We're actually in the fourth now, third down and five. Brooks dropping back, looking for that screen pass. And nice deflection by Dan Mullins. Look at him get up there and say, uh-uh, no sorry. And we get the ball back, trying to extend our lead to 11 now. As now we have momentum on our side. That is always good. We have to have the momentum on our side. You go over the rough left side. I can't say my directions. Left side to Donald Hills. First down, Blazers. Now Chris Jones is starting to pick up his game, elevate his game, and take it to the next level. That's what I like to see out of this team. We're, we're resilient. We're a resilient group. And we may be down, but we are never out. We always keep fighting. This is what I love about this Blazers team. We are just sneaky, and we are just, we're good. That's what good teams do. We're, we're, we don't count ourselves out. So green again, first down Blazers. 13-yard pickup, first down, baby. And we are inside the red zone, trying to extend our lead to 11 points. And I think that would, I wouldn't say it puts it out of reach, but it would it would certainly look bleak for North Texas. Again, underneath the McTaggart, picking up the first just by a hair. But it's a first down nonetheless. And now can we punch it in from about five yards out? Jones dropping back, scrambling to his right, gets it off to Donald Hills, and he pushes himself into the end zone. Touchdown, Blazers. Now 24 to 14. You see Donald Hills getting some love over on the sideline from his backup quarterback. He's like, yeah, you the man. Yeah. So now 24 to 13. Third and 13 here for North Texas. In the gun is Brooks. And he's dropping back. Looking for that screen pass again. And he cannot find anybody. The, the teams who get desperate start running screen passes. And they become a little bit too predictable. And I end up taking advantage of that. So I don't know why they do that. Uh, it's probably just a game mechanic, but it, it just becomes predictable for me, and I'm just like, uh-huh, let me just uh, take my linebacker and try and intercept it. Sometimes I don't intercept it, sometimes I do, but it really all depends. As long as I can predict it, I'm good. You see right here, Jones taking this one 
and he's gonna get a first down. Look at the moves he's putting on him. 14 yard pickup. First down Blazers. As now time is, you know, dwindling down. We're up by 11. Looking like we're gonna go up 31-13 right here. Hand off Keith Brown, that's a touchdown. 31-13. This game's essentially over, right? I mean, under two minutes to go, up by 18. You really can't just, <laughs> you're, this game's over. So again, throwing it deep, and this one is almost intercepted by Charles Hamby. And they're gonna go for it on fourth down. They're gonna miss the fourth down opportunity. And we're gonna be inside the red zone once again. And we're gonna try and, you know, run the ball a little bit. We're at the 15 yard line, handing it off to Keith Brown. He has a gashing hole, and he takes it into the end zone for another touchdown. It's now 38-13. This game's just, it's its a laugher at this point. They're just, North Texas is trying to do something that's pretty much impossible, and they're, they're paying the price for it. We're just trying to run the ball, and they're just like, hey, we're going to keep trying. But the game's over, and as they throw another interception right here, this time to Jared Lewis. And... Just for good measure, we kick on another field goal to make it 41-13. So this game, that that, la that the final quarter was just a complete laugher, as we just came out on top and just destroyed, destroyed North Texas, 41 to 13. It was pretty much over as soon as the fourth quarter started. That fourth quarter was just a joke to me. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy, drop a like. We are now 6-1. We are now bowl eligible, but we are not done yet. We are trying to get ourselves a BCS bowl and ho hopefully climb up the ranking ladder. Uh, but until next time, my name is Sim with Vengeance. You guys have been amazing as always supporting these videos. And, you know, keep dropping them likes. Keep subscribing. If you're new, hey, there's a subscribe button. But until then, I'm Sim with Vengeance, and I'm out. Peace.